Enchanter Knight. Rascal's first lock. Can we go yet? LAX, hopefully. My mom seemed to been putting the permanent around forever. Luckily, the ham didn't seem to upset Rascal's stomach. And Ellie managed to hide her pair of flip-flops that Rascal had stolen from under the chair during lunch. Hopefully, she could stick the flowery pieces back on before Mom noticed. This. Why don't you get a sweet, Ellie? Wee, why I finished my cup of tea. Mom smiled at her. Just then, Max came in, dangling Rascal's red leash, and, leash and Ellie's face fell. Of course, Max and Lila wanted to walk Rascal, too. She just forgot imagining it would be just her and Mom. Rascal looked at the leash uncertainly, and Ellie wondered if he remembered his trip to the bat. But he let Max clip it on. Come on, Rascal! Go here, boy! Max called, leading him to the front door. Mom and Ellie followed, and Lilla darted down the stairs in a bolt of light to join them. However, Max opened the front door, and Rascal wanted to frame a little squeak. <laughs> He sat down on his bottom and wriggled backwards when Max tried to yank at the leash. Rascal, walk! Come on, we're going to the park, Max said. Ellie started to giggle when Max glared at her. <laughs> you think you do it if you think it's so funny, he hadn't heard a leash. She crouched down gently to Rascal and pet him gently. Want to go for a walk, Rascal? She murmured. Then Ellie dropped one of his special dog treats to him on the doorstep. Come on, Sleeney. <gasps> Rascal stepped down to snatch up the treat and crunched it up. He then sniffed the plants and decided the porch took a cautious step forward. She cheated, Max muttered. Ellie practiced walking Rascal around the front yard first. Then they were set. Then they set off the road. It was a very slow walk because Rascal really wasn't used to his leash. And Aunt Ellie carried him most of the way to the park, which luckily wasn't that far away. When they reached the gate, Rascal stopped and stared at the huge Space dotted with trees, a hill leaning down to a big, wobbly pond at the bottom, and lots of other, other dogs were running around. It looked like doggy heaven. Rascal pulled excitedly on the leash and barked loudly as a huge bark black Labrador came, came snuffling past. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ellie laughed. <laughs> Come on, buddy, let's run. They dashed off across the grass. Max, Lilla, and Mom raced after them. Everybody laughed at Rascal as he bounced along, jumping to so he could see the long grass. <laughs> Finally, Rascal stopped and sat, panting on Ellie's feet. Oh, the little guys were now, Lilla laughed. Suddenly, Rascal's ears perked up. He was staring at some ducks down the hill, waddling and flapping around the reeds at the edge of the pond. He shook himself briskly and sat down the slope, his tail lagging crazy in excitement. Ellie raced after him, skidding and sliding as they sped through the grass. Ellie, no! Mom shouted. Ellie tried to stop pulling on the leash. Leash, but Rascal was too interested in the ducks. They now noticed him and were starting to quack anxiously, fluttering their feathers and slip slide into the water as fast as they could. Ah! Not in the water! Rascal! Stop! 
and he gaps as he did just get into a hole at the edge, barking fiercely as the the ducks paddled away. Unfortunately for Ellie, she was running so fast that she stumbled. She wobbled into the edge of the pool before tumbling forward and sitting down with a splash up to her chest in dirty, slimy water. Oh, Ellie groaned. Don't look at me like that, rascal. This is your fault. Oh, yuck! I'm sitting in duck poop! Max slid down the slope and stood laughing at her. <laughs> You're soaked! He kneeled down and stretched out a hand to help her out. Rascal yipped sharply. Yip! Max, look out! Ellie warned as Rascal ran up to Max and scratched the back's legs, knocking him in off balance. Mom and Lilla arrived to rescue them, just as Max toppled into the pond, too, sending another wave of muddy water all over Ellie. Lilla giggled and then backed away a few steps as Max and Ellie came staggering out. Don't you dare come anywhere near me! What are you two doing? Mom Max staring at them in horror. I was trying to help, Max protested. But I was pulling Ellie out, but Rascal jumped at me. Oh dear, Mom shook her head. Maybe he thought you were trying to hurt Ellie. Maybe he does seem to think he she's a special person. Even though she was soaking mud and covered in mud and worse, Ellie felt like she was glowing inside. She was Rascal's special person.